Every barrel bourbon batch might be different, but you know once that bottle is gone, you can pick up the next one and experience something new. Find out more at BarrelBourbon.com. Welcome to this week's Whiskey Quickie. We're taking a look at Jim Beam's legend. And I should say Jim Beam, but Beam Suntory's legend because it was a collaboration that was done by Master Distiller Fred No and Suntory's Chief Blending Officer. Now, this is a Kentucky straight bourbon that has been finished in, I should say, sorry, partially finished in wine and sherry casks. Partially? What does that mean? <laughs> like, I don't know, like a little bit here, a little bit there, a little dab there, a little sprinkle, mm -hmm. oh, whatever. Yeah. yeah. So this is also coming in around a 35 to $40 SRP. So mm, it's actually, right. I mean, for relatively what it is, it's always surprising the price point. I remember when this came out, I was like, oh, well, I mean, I guess it's worth trying out for that price point. Yeah. Just for the bottle alone, I would pay $35. I think it's sexy. It is. It's really nice. I mean, it's got some weight to it. Big, big cork. Stop. All right, let's get to it. Yeah, people, I don't know. People get it. It's a, it's a packaging thing, so. We're delaying. Yeah, all right. So on the nose. Very, oh. very muted of, of the finishing. Yeah, it's kind of got some, like, a lot of fruit, kind of maybe a little passion fruit or, like, kind of syrupy. Like, I get a little, little cold syrup, something like that. Yeah. I could see that. It's probably the partially uh, finished. Partially sprinkled, finished. You know, sprinkled in there. Partially so. finished cough syrup. You know, the nose really translates to the palate. It's kind of a little cough syrupy, um, dried fruits, uh, you know, pretty light, easy to drink. I think uh, so too. I mean, at 90, what, 94 proof, it, you know, it, it's very, it's it's an easy sipper. Yeah. I think so too. Um, so I, I think, I, I kind of really like the taste. Uh, you don't get an over amount of like the sherry and finish and stuff like that too. Yep. But on the finish, where you at? Oh, it's a little dry, a little bitter. Um, it's it's okay. It's just not not my favorite, but it's hey, okay. Thirty five. It's only thirty. It's thirty five dollar finish. Exactly. So on the nose, what are you gonna rate it as? Uh, sideways. It's kind of muted. There's some flavors I want there, but it's just not enough of them. And the taste? Uh, I'll go thumbs up. I agree with that one. And the finish? Uh, I'll go sideways thumbs. It's a it's okay. Thirty five dollar finish. So hey, but I think it's whatever well, that means. Well packaged <laughs> and everything like that. And if you're looking for something that gives you a wine or sherry cask kind of finish that you know you want to explore something else in your repertoire, hey, let us know what you think in the comments. Cheers, y'all. We'll see you next time.